Hey folks, so I thought I would do a little demonstration on how to scan documents using the native notes app that comes on iOS devices, whether it's an iPad or an iPhone, uh, this should all work the same using the notes app. Scanning a document using some sort of a scanning application will render much cleaner results than if you just took a photograph uh, using your camera app on your phone. So let me get started here. I'm in my notes app and I made a new note and I called it scanner demo using notes app in iOS, okay? And now that I've got this new note going, I can go ahead and start scanning documents into it. So I'm gonna start with something really simple. It's just a multi-page text document uh, that I printed out and then I did some writing on it, just kind of like you would normally maybe receive a PDF file or some sort of form you gotta fill out and then send it back to someone. So I'm gonna start by going to my camera icon at the bottom here. I'm gonna hit scan documents and I happen to have a black table that I'm doing this on. Obviously the piece of paper that I'm scanning is going to be white and the more contrast you have between the edge of the paper uh, and the background, the faster the scan is going to happen. So if this was a white tabletop, it might not accurately detect the edge of the page. So it doesn't have to be totally black, but anything that has a little bit of contrast will help the scanning app uh, do its job. So I'm going to put this right down here. And you can actually see already, it's trying to find the edges of the document with my hand in the way. It detected the edge and it scanned it in. Now I'm gonna pull this aside. And right now it's all doing it automatically. So I can just keep putting papers in front of the camera here. It scanned it. Put that one aside. And I'll just get my last page, which is pretty much blank, but we'll do it anyway. Okay. Now this last one, for whatever reason, it didn't focus too well on it. I think it's because there's a lot of white in here. So I'm going to select that page and that will happen once in a while you get just a bad scan or, or maybe you moved it a little bit when the camera went off. So I'm gonna hit the retake button and just kind of put that in place again. Yeah, that's much better. Okay, and let's get that out of the way. When you're happy with your scans, I hit the done button here. At the bottom here, I have three little thumbnails. Those are my pages. It's important that you hit the save. Uh, so down in the lower right-hand corner, it says save, and there's a three in parentheses, indicating I got three pages uh, to this document. Hit the save button, and it goes into my notes app. Now, if I click on these, I can do a little bit of basic editing to them. I can tap on this first page here, and there's some basic tools I can work with here. There's a rotate icon at the top that will spin that page around. Once in a while, the, uh, the sort of gyro on the phone gets confused and things might auto rotate when you didn't want them to. I can swipe to look at the different pages I've scanned in. They look, you know, they look really nice. If I pinch and zoom in, you can see that, you know, the text came out really clean the background is pretty much almost totally solid white, so it's really great contrast. It reads really well. I can further tweak this a little bit. It does give me a couple of options. I mean, this looks pretty darn fantastic uh, right out of the gate, but if I click on these three circles, I can do some really simple adjustments here. One, it's doing right now is a color version of the scan, so you see the color off to the side here. I can click on grayscale, that makes it a little more high contrast, so it might, I don't have a lot of it going on here. Let's go back to color for a minute. Yeah, if you look really, really closely, it's really subtle, but there's a little bit of noise at the bottom of this document. I mean, it's not really bothering me at this point, but sometimes you'll get little blotches of gray. We might see that in a moment in a different sample. But if you switch to grayscale, it might eat up uh, some of that dirt. There's a black and white version that makes it really high contrast. That makes it the text look really kind of dark, but you do introduce some artifacts. So if I go back to grayscale, here's what it looked like. If I go to black and white, there's the difference. I don't really think there's a right or wrong. It's just whatever makes your document as legible as possible. And then the last option is the original photograph. And this is what it would look like if I just took a straight up picture of it. You know, there's a little bit of uh, noise up in the corner of the page there. There's a little bit of a sort of a gradation in the background because the light isn't totally even. So the scanning app really neutralizes a lot of that stuff. 
The default setting on this was color. I want to make it grayscale. And let's say I want to make the other versions of this grayscale as well. I can go, let's go back to that first one. If I tap and hold on one of these icons, it will say apply filters to all scans. And if I do that, that will then put the grayscale effect on the entire document. Okay, so that was a really straightforward example. I'm going to hit done and I'm going to hit the camera again. We're going to pull up a new document. This is going to be for all the uh, artists and designers in the room who do a lot of sketching. So I get a sketchbook here. Let's go to scan documents. Oh, great way of getting your sketches scanned in so you can get them online for a case study or something like that. All right, so right now, <laughs> while I'm talking and kind of moving the book around, it tried to scan the document, but it really couldn't find the edges properly because I was moving it. So I'm just going to hit the retake button. If you're not chit-chatting while doing this process, and it does go a little, a little smoother. And there it is. It's scanned in the two pages there. Let's click on that. And here it is. Nice high contrast rendering of the um, images there. Now in this instance, if I go and edit with some of those filters, grayscale kind of eats away at it a little bit. Black and white actually makes it look worse. So I think that default color setting is probably the way to go on this one. And again, if you zoom in, you know, it's nice and sharp. I mean, my, you know, the pencil's a little soft on the paper there, but it's about as sharp as you can get it uh, off of a phone device. It's pretty fantastic. Lastly, let's do something a little tricky. I'm going to hit done with this. <clears throat> I'm going to get a little pile of documents here. And we're going to be really sloppy about this, see what we can do here. Bring up my camera icon, scan documents. So here I've got a notepad sitting on top of a brochure here. So the camera by default is probably going to try to scan the biggest object. So you can see it bouncing around trying to figure out what to scan. And if it's struggling, you do have your uh, camera button, your shutter button here. You can just click that and force it to take a photo. And I'm going to hit keep scan. And what I really want out of this, let's tap on that to edit it. What I really want isn't so much the, the brochure in the background, but I really want the notepad. So I'm going to tap on that and I'm going to go to the crop tool. And you'll see the original photograph is still intact. And what I can do is I can move the crop points. So what you do is just grab these little dots in the corner. And the great thing about this is if you tap on the dots with your finger and try to position them, because your finger's on that dot, you can't see where you're dropping it. So you don't have to click on the dot, just near it. Just right next to it. Just off to the side a little bit. It will, it will understand what you're trying to do. And you can move it. And now it's going to crop that notepad. Sometimes when it does a scan, it doesn't quite detect the edge of the paper the way you want it. So you can go in here and override its choice of crop with your own. Hit done. All right, not too bad. The only thing I get to really do, I suppose, is, is rotate it. Let's get it right side up there. Perfect. And I'm going to hit done again. And let me hit the save button. So now I've got all of these scans in my notes app. And here's the thing. It tries to be smart. It actually started naming the first series of scans. It was that deluxe business plan. So you can see it named it D Deluxe. It must have interpreted the logo um, and then the word deluxe. And it went ahead and it named it. Over here, now this is just me pencil sketching. It somehow figured out, it discerned the name Fox Logo, which is what this was, and it went ahead and it named it Fox Logo, which is pretty interesting. And then this Christmas note paper, it couldn't make any sense out of it, so it just named it Scanned Documents. So I've got these three scan docs, which I can then export out of my notes app by hitting the export arrow here and you'll get your usual iOS commands and you can go ahead and email this or message it or send it to different apps depending on what's installed uh, on your device. It will export as a PDF. That's what the final scan ends up being. So that is the quick tour of using the scanning application in the Notes app. But there's one other thing, one more thing. I'm on the Mac ecosystem. I also have a MacBook and an iMac and these scans are going to my iCloud account. 
So watch what happens when I sit at my desktop. So here I am at my desktop, and because my notes are synchronized through my iCloud account, these scans within just a moment appeared in my notes app on my desktop. And what this allows me to do is drag the note, drop it on my desktop, and there's the PDF file of that scan that I can further manipulate with some other desktop app or do whatever I need to do with it. Thanks for listening, and I hope you find this technique helpful.